educate yourself first before expecting a black person to do it. Why would I do that? I've got Malcolm X at home. Wagwan. Morning, mate. Just done catch to 5K. Feel like your mate, Mo Farah. What are you doing then? Writing some bars? Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm writing a book. Oh, a book about bars. Didn't know I was living with Tupac. No, it's actually a book on how to talk about race. Oh, nice and light then. No, no, I mean, it's about how white people can talk to their black friends about race without saying anything offensive or ignorant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's common sense, innit, bruv? What's chapter one then? Well, chapter one is educate yourself first before expecting a black person to do it. Why would I do that? I've got Malcolm X at home. Be because I'm not Malcolm X and I'm not Nelson Mandela and I don't have a rousing speech to give every time something racist happens. Well, no one said it had to be arousing. What about chapter two then? Chapter two is understand the different shapes of racism. All right, Pythagoras. Well, it just means that just because you're not using the N-word doesn't mean what you're saying isn't offensive to black people. Oh God, there's a list now. Look, look remember yesterday when you were out on the balcony sunbathing? Well, what did you say to me? I might get a back sack and crack tomorrow. Before that. Oh right, I said I was nearly as black as you. Right, now you might think that's a compliment, but are you really ready to take on the black experience? What, being able to jump high and having a massive package? Yes, please. <laughs> Are you prepared to be constantly profiled by the police and to miss out on opportunities and have old ladies cross the street because of a skin colour you can't change? Well, I can change it because it's a tan. Exactly. You get the skin colour without the experience and that's not always the nicest thing to highlight to a black person. Just want to get a tan next time then. Well, no, it's not just the tan. It's lots of things. It's, you know, touching our hair without permission or assuming that black women spend all day twerking or that all black people like chicken. Oh, what? Oh, I was going to make chicken casserole for dinner. I do like chicken recipes. I'm just saying I don't have KFC being drip fed into my veins 24-7. Ah, I see. What's a chapter three out of interest? Chapter three is sometimes it's better to listen than to speak. Okay, elaborate please, Gandhi. Basically, when black people are talking about the black experience, white people tend to do one of three things. They justify, compare, or deny. Well, I wouldn't, because I'm not racist. I've watched Django three times on Blu-ray. Well, you're justifying, because I'm not even attacking you. You know, you listening to me is worth more than you telling me how racist you're not. But I, I do get the whole black experience. I got barred from a club once because I had white air forces on. You know, it works both ways. And now you're comparing because, you know, I get that you've had bad experiences, but piling them on top of mine isn't going to make me feel any lighter talking to you. I can't win. You know, saying all this, but you've got a pretty good life. You just sound ungrateful. You know, Britain's not as racist as you're making it out to be. You cried last week because you got sent to the back of the queue in Tesco. Yeah, well, that was unfair. You know, I stood in the line, I'd done nothing wrong, got sent to the back just for no reason. And my hummus got all warm and runny. You followed all the rules, you did exactly what you're supposed to, and you still got treated unfairly. <sighs> Can't imagine how that feels. I see what you're saying. Finally. I should have gone to Morrison's. No, Einstein, I'm saying that's how it feels for black people sometimes. Oh, right. Do I get a prize then for doing all three of the things? Justifying, comparing and denying. You've got to take the bins out. Oh, but it's leaking. All that fried chicken I've been eating dribbling out the bottom. Stop. I'm sure you're okay taking a black bin out. Oh, very funny. You might as well put your book in there whilst you're at it. Wouldn't be any room for your chicken casserole then. Wee. Wee. <laughs> now seriously, take it out, it stinks.